In this problem, we have a ball of mass one kilogram connected to a rigid rod with a negligible mass, and it is released from this position. At this position, this spring is unstretched. So the unstretched the length of the spring is one meter. And we need to determine the speed of this uh, ball when the rod becomes vertical. So this is our init initial state. Let's call it state one. So for our final state, we will have the rod right here. This again, that's two meter with the ball right here. And because the spring is connected to the center of this rod, therefore this will be just basically a sketch of the spring. So this is our state two, and we need to determine the speed of the ball at state two. So we're going to solve this problem using the conservation of energy because in this case, only the spring force and the weight force are doing work, and both of them are conservative forces. No non-conservative force is doing work during this process. So it's up to you. I'm going to choose this as my datum. Therefore, so we have total T1 plus total U1 equals to total T2 plus total U2. Initially, the ball is at rest, so this equals to zero, no initial kinetic energy. Its initial potential energy, it has two parts. We have U1G, the gravitational potential energy, as well as U1E. But because initially the spring is unstretched, this is also zero. So all we have is U1G, which equals to weight times the height, the position compared to the datum. So if we've chosen this to be the datum, then U1G equals to 1, which is the mass 1 kilogram times 9.81. That gives you the weight times the position is 2 meter above the datum. And that equals to 19.62 joule. That's the total potential energy at state 1 for this ball. And then for state two, state two, T2, um, we only need to consider the ball because the rod it has negligible mass. So T2 of the ball equals to 1 half mv squared. And this is 1 half times 1 times v squared. And this v is what we're trying to solve for. And then U2 also has two components. U2G and U2E. In this case, we chosen this location to be the datum, therefore U2G is a zero. We only have U2E, and U2E equals to one half k s squared. Don't forget this s is delta s. This is the difference of the spring length compared to the original unstretched length. So let's do a simple trigonometry. This lens right here can be determined from this right triangle. This right triangle, this side right here is one meter. This side right here, that's a total of two meter. Therefore, this is the square root of two square plus one square, that's the square root of five. The spring constant is uh, four newton per meter, so this equals to one half times four times the new length, which is square root of five, minus the original length, which is one meter squared. So this is the elastic potential energy of uh, state two, and that equals to 3.06 joule. Now we're ready to write our equation. On the left-hand side, we only have U1G, which is 19.62. On the right-hand side, we have one half V squared plus 3.06. So from here, we can solve for V, which equals to 5.76 meter per second. And that is the answer to this problem.